Welcome to Tank. Today we're adding something new to the channel called Couch Corner with Tank, where we chat with friends and family. And today I'm with my dad, where we talk about diesel and biofuels and alternatives to that. Right after this. Cue the intro. Technology, automotive, and gaming. How pretty you watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa! Take your in. Camera's rolling! Cool. I got my. Oh my goodness, what is this? This isn't a drink. I said I need a real drink, not a coffee. Ah, what? What is this? It's not even open. I want it in a glass. Come on! Ah, perfect. Exactly what I want. Mmm. That's delicious. Now I'm here with my dad. Oh my goodness. I forgot him too. Ah, perfect. Now we're set. Alright, with all the cold weather we had last week, and temperatures dropping below zero, I can't understand the benefits of biofuel. There were so many trucks broke down on the side of the road. Let's talk more about that. I'm here with my dad, Don. What do you got to say? The issue that I see with biodiesel, it requires a lot of land, and I can see biodiesel as being a supplemental, not the way, but you can go with it to add to, um, but there are those who are saying that it's carbon neutral, and I, I, I roll my eyes on that because it's not carbon neutral in the way that oil being carbon neutral, because biodiesel is no different than oil other than the fact you didn't wait for plate tectonics to do the subduction of the, of the algae and the, and the marine plant life to create the oil. Um, you went ahead and did it sooner by breaking it down, but oil from the earth is nothing but bio biodiesel, except it's been there for a heck of a lot longer time. Um, so you're not carbon neutral, it, it, but it is a way to help supplement. Um, but it's not, I don't see it as the answer and the cure. I see it as something to add in along with wind and solar. You're basically burning biodiesel and you're burning oil that's taken from the ground. It's just the oil taken from the ground is uh, a whole lot older, mm -hmm. okay, and naturally, in a natural form of... Well, the, isn't some biodiesel go from uh, stuff we produce, like fryers and things like that? Uh, no, biodiesel is from the, the algae. Oh, and so it's take algae, algae, but the, yeah. the the argument I have against it being carbon neutral is that you still have the same demand. So you're still going to use oil from the ground. The oil from the ground is algae and marine plant life that had extracted carbon a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. The cost of producing the biodiesel is algae extracting from today, and you're not going to get 100% biodiesel because of the issues with biodiesel that you have in cold temperatures and the issues with biodiesel and the amount of land it takes up. And let's say, okay, we're, well, we're not gonna use land, we're gonna do it with these biodiesel farms using blue and red light. You're still taking energy then, which you're either gonna have to rob it from wind, you're gonna have to rob it from solar, you're gonna have to rob it from thermal nuclear or whatever other way of producing electricity to, to produce it. Your cost of producing that earth, that, that biodiesel is going to be so much more. Plus, you're not reducing the amount of carbon that you're extracting. You still have the same impact. 
you have the same impact. And you, then you look at it as... But you say, may have a worse impact because of what are you going to do to the environment with the amount of land that you're doing and how you're changing the land in the way that you're now flooding it or you're changing... You're actually using more energy by robbing from what people could use in their homes by the wind and the solar that they probably could have just went and used... Uh, electric trains or subways or trolleys, electric trolleys and stuff or like that. Or electric cars. Or electric like cars. Tesla. Like Tesla. <laughs> so you need to really look at everything. Fine, go ahead and, and add biodiesel as a supplement into the whole thing. But truly, truly, truly look at the actual cost and impact to the environment that you're doing. Because is it going to make that big of a difference, especially with us up, up north here, biodiesel, you don't want that in your uh, diesel tank in the middle of the winter. So are you really going to make that much of a difference when it comes down to um, if you're spending more money to create mm -hmm. a less superior product, which biodiesel, let's be honest, isn't exactly, it's not diesel, it's just... Yeah, it's it less superior its than the aged oil it comes from the same place as the aged oil right you're just artificially doing it sooner right is all that you're doing and Which, not as good as no. when you pull it not as good as sweet crude no no, no. Here no. As sweet crude. <laughs> so no if, if you just the, the the better way to look at things is to just redesign our cities Use cars, and like you mentioned, Tesla. Well, then you need to also, what's the impact from Tesla on batteries? What's the impact for the for what you're doing to well, different areas that is you for can, You can actually recycle the battery. However, right. the efficiency is not as good with, I mean, your energy efficiency is better, but your, um, your efficiency as far as traveling not as good in the battery as far as storing energy. You're always going to use a little bit of energy out of a battery versus out of a gasoline uh, vehicle. Right. However, it, gas, internal combustion engines lose so much, mm -hmm. they waste so much energy from heat and everything else that mm -hmm. none of it's reusable. Yeah. If we're after saving so, the environment, it's, it's trying to get more electrical, I think. Even though that yeah. has its scales, and we're, we're working on it, but it's too well, much towards and, and that And then why not also create shopping areas, you know, and cities, make our cities so that we can I can go there and I can go to the coffee shop, I can go to the electronics store, I can go over to any type of, of store that I want to buy any type of thing, okay? Um, a lot of stuff is going online as well, I realize that. But you need to ask yourself, is that carbon efficient? You need, you need trucks to haul that stuff. You need delivery. Now, is that kind of carbon efficient, or is it more carbon efficient to? It might be though. Go to the city. It might about be, it. but if you don't know, it, it's it's a toss up. It, Something that needs to be looked at. If you think about it, though, say I want, I gotta go buy my groceries. Everyone has to go buy their groceries, so they all get in their car and they drive to the grocery store. Let's say you had a, a delivery system that delivered your groceries, which they do have. They're coming out with that now, mm -hmm. but then that's one vehicle driving to the different areas and there's no driving to and driving back. We drive from mm -hmm. and then they probably pick the best route, drop your stuff off and then go back. It's not going back and forth. It'd be like the mail service. That's my my way they, of looking at how they do it. So right. it could be one vehicle it, it could be versus how many people go to Walmart every day but, or, or, or your local grocery store. <laughs> you, you've got to be imagining right. at least hundreds of people a day going if not more, go shopping every day. True. So true, and and you'd have to compare that to, let's say, you made your city so that you had areas where you could walk. There were no cars. There were only trolleys or the subway and stuff like that, and you could go and get all your stuff that way. Um, you'd have to compare that model, um, which I'm sure that we have areas either in Europe or wherever else that we can compare those models of getting our goods those ways versus having 
everything done by mail service. Right. Um, that's something that would have to be reviewed. Um, but definitely the way that we're doing it now is is not not the best way. the best way. I mean, having cars running through the downtown business area is just not the way to do it because okay, I go here to this place. Now, the only way I can go to the next place is to hop into the car. Well, we used to have shopping malls, you know, some car do that. But I know there's been many of malls closed down just in our area sure. that have shut down because people don't go to the malls. Mm -hmm. There are models out there, um, maybe in the United States too. Maybe you could check and see if there are communities, cities. There's actually, that LA them. is uh, doing it so they can go ahead and uh, have public transportation. And everything, so they they they're reducing our cars and making more public transportation and stuff like that. I know that right. that will reduce on carbon emissions and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. driving a car around, right. not that driving a car around is not fun, Shane, but it is if you have a nice car. But mm -hmm. some of us just don't want to drive. <laughs> Not to get our stuff. Now we do want to drive to go on trips, and that's where the cars come in handy, and and where there's a place for them, is for long distance. I mean, if you want to drive off to uh, go see the national parks or things like that. So to wrap things up. When it comes to bio, stay away from that. Oh, and tr I forgot about this. What is up with truck stops? Not having to be required by law to tell you how, whether they put bio in their fuel or not. You don't have to put it up in the pump. However, when you go to a gas station, I believe it's law, they have to go contains up to 10% ethanol. Or more. Or they more. always say 10% or more. Or more. Mm -hmm. yep. But you're not required to tell you. So you can go, I don't know, I'll, I'll point these, these stations out to you, or these truck stops out to you. Loves, got bio. TAs and Petros, bio. Um, Quick Trip now has bio in their regular fuel, not their premium. Their premium fuel does not have bio. Those are the ones that are off the top of my head, I know. For diesel. For diesel. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, stay away from bio. And uh, I think that will wrap things up for today. Oh, and if you want to save the environment, try to go to electric. It's probably the best for it, even though we have, we still got to produce that energy, but we have other ways of producing the energy. But I think that wraps it up. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm Tristan, this is my father, Don, and this was Tay, Couch Corner Edition, and Tay, Tay you're, you're it. it. Someone say it. Who's saying it? Me. What do you say? I gotta say, yeah, you. Man, it's getting hot in here. Go ahead. Hot. All right, practice line. Say, okay, I'll make you. A, I'll get you a hot coffee. Say that. Okay, I will get. Say it loud. Okay, I will get you a hot coffee. There, perfect.